Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone chapter 311 of the Arduino series. In this video we're going to be covering an optical fingerprint sensor called the JM101. Now before we go into the code and the pins and how to connect it to the Arduino, I believe it'd be better to get a general rundown on how the fingerprint optical sensor works. As you put your finger over the transparent screen, the sensor takes a picture. This picture is converted into a digital image and at specific points it will select distinguishing features and convert those features into a series of ones and zeros. This series of ones and zeros will therefore be the code or identity for that fingerprint of that finger. And when the sensor is used to detect matching fingerprints along with the help of the code, it will take a picture of the recently scanned fingerprint, go through the same process of converting it into a digital template of a series of ones and zeros, and compare it with those stored in the module. And now depending on the two outcomes, whether the sensor returns matching or returns not matching, you can tell the Arduino to perform something. If you want to follow along with this demonstration, you're going to need the Arduino, the sensor, and any means how to connect the four wires from the sensor towards the Arduino. I've achieved this by connecting the four female pins from the sensor with four male-to-male -male jumper wires towards the Arduino. This also acts as an extension, giving me more space to play around with the sensor. There are only four pins that we are interested in, the voltage in, the transmitter or TX, the receiver or RX, and the ground pin. Now regardless of the color of the connecting pins that you have, when you have the PCB oriented this way, the first one from the top is going to be your voltage in, the second one is going to be the transmitter, this is going to be if colored yellow and it's going to go to pin 2 of the Arduino, the second one is going to be the receiver and if colored again it's going to be white and that's going to go to pin 3 of the Arduino and the last one is going to be your ground or if it's colored it's going to be black and we will ignore the rest. Now before we want to do anything, open up your Arduino, go to sketch, include libraries, then manage libraries. Now in the search bar above, you want to type in fingerprint and install the one that's by Adafruit. It should be labeled as Adafruit Fingerprint Sensor Library. Now this module is complex innately and so we're going to go through the process of using the example libraries that's provided by Adafruit. Now of the group of examples provided, we are only interested in two and to access them, you want to go to file, examples, you want to scroll down to the section that says examples from custom libraries and then you want to hover over Adafruit fingerprint sensor library. From there, the ones that we're interested in is enroll and fingerprint. We'll begin by selecting enroll. I will not be going through the commands of both scripts, but I will explain how they work through the serial monitor as majority of the setup is done through the serial monitor. Now before uploading the enroll code, you want to go to tools and make sure that your board and port are correct. And after doing so, then upload. The first thing the Arduino does after opening the serial monitor is check for the fingerprint module. And if it returns positive, it's going to return the text in the serial monitor, found fingerprint sensor. If you do not receive this message, make sure your pins are connected properly and that your board rate matches the one in the void setup. Now the next thing to do is to register your fingerprint. You can put an ID number between 1 and 127. However, this device, this module only stores 120 fingerprints. I'm going to input the number 1 onto the serial monitor and then it's going to tell me to put my finger over the transparent screen. After doing so and doing it appropriately, it's going to tell me that my image has been taken and remove my finger. Doing so, it will give me another message to tell me to place it again, the same finger. And after doing it successfully, it's going to tell you that it has been registered. Now, during the process of registering your fingerprint, it will go endlessly in both instances until your finger is detected adequately. Now, you can change your fingers during the two scanning process. However, this will mess up the integrity of the module when it comes to detecting fingerprints. After you are done registering all the fingerprints, you want to close the serial monitor and open up the second example called fingerprints. And to do so, you want to go through the same process, file, example, scroll down to the section that says examples from custom libraries and hover over add the fruit fingerprint sensor library, then click on fingerprint. Now, if I did not show you how to add custom outputs, depending on whether the fingerprint detected is in the module storage or not, this video would be useless. You want to go down to the section of the code that has OK converted, commented out, and in the if statement that has P equal to fingerprint underscore OK, here you add your function in the angled brackets where when the fingerprint detected is true. However, in the else if statement where P equals to fingerprint underscore not found, this is where you add the function when the fingerprint does not match. Now keep in mind that the examples provided are read only and you can't save the custom additions that you've added and therefore you have to save it onto a different area in your device. And once that's all done, you want to upload it and open up the serial monitor. The Arduino will check whether a fingerprint is present or not. And when it's not, it's going to run endlessly, no finger detected. When a fingerprint is detected, you're going to receive the response that either indeed it is in the storage or it is not. And depending on the response, the code is going to go through the respective output. 
So when I put my left index finger that I've registered onto the screen, it's going to give me in the serum on a custom command goes here, which is the command that I've put associated when the fingerprint detected is in the database. But when I use a finger that's not registered, such as my middle finger of my left hand, it's going to give me the command that did not find a match. This marks the end of the video, and if you did learn something new and you do like this content, consider liking the video and subscribing. And if you wish to join the small community that I'm trying to build, there's going to be my Discord linked in the description.